Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm showing you guys how I curl my short hair. But my favorite way and the way that I wear it in every single video and picture um, since I've cut my hair basically um, is what I'm gonna show you guys today. I feel like I've gotten a lot better at doing it. I used to part my hair, um, but I found that I wasn't very happy with the curling results when I curled every single layer. So what I've been doing lately is just finding random pieces and just curling them as I go. Um, and I feel like I've liked how it looks a lot more, especially since I've gotten my bangs. So that's what we're gonna do. I will show you a picture. So like in this picture I recently posted on Instagram, this is like my favorite way to curl my hair. Let's see here. So I don't know if you guys can see it that well, but that's like my favorite way to curl my hair. It's just very loose, it looks good with my bangs. Um, it's also how it's curled in this picture. Um, so they're just very loose, kind of crazy. Not every single strand of my hair is curled. Um, and then I do have curls like this where a lot more of them is curled, if that makes sense. So I will go ahead and show you how I do those ones first and I'll show you on like a middle back strand because that's not how I want to curl my hair today. I want to do it the other way I was just telling you guys about. But I do want you guys to know how to do this way in case you're interested and yeah. So the iron that i use is this conair one it's on right now so i have to be careful um i got it from target i'm pretty sure it was like 15 20 bucks super cheap and it matches my blow dryer which is really cute um i got it forever ago like when we lived in our first apartment together but i couldn't figure out how to use it um, because i had longer hair so now that i have shorter hair it works perfectly um it has these little this little fishy guy here that you can adjust the heat I try and keep it around 15 to 20 for the curls that I do um, the most because I feel like the looser, the crazier they look, the more mullet vibes I get that I'm obsessed with. Um, but I do go up to like 25, 30 um, for the other set of curls that I'm showing you guys, which is like the more curl. This is what I use. Um, I do have a whole hair care routine video, obviously, and you guys, I will put a card here if you guys are interested in looking at that. Um, I share these products in it, but I will share it again. So I, um, and I share the blow dryer in it. I'm not going to go get it, but it is in that video. So if you're interested, I linked in everything, but I got this prep rally dry shampoo or dry bar, um, prime and prep detangler. Love it. I put it on my hair right before I, um, blow dry it and I'm obsessed. I really feel like I can see a difference in my ends. Um, especially with how much I blow dry and curl my hair ever since I cut it. Cause Ever since I got short hair, I've definitely realized it's something that you actually have to take care of and style a lot more. Like with long hair, I used to just blow dry and do whatever, but with short hair, I kind of have to be able to do more stuff with it. Um, and then when I'm done curling it, I try and go through and put a good amount of texture spray in it just to get some volume going um, and just like, you know, make it look a little fluffy and textured and crazy. And then if I didn't wash my hair today um, and I needed it, I would just use my IGK um, dry shampoo beforehand. But I don't need that. And then I just use a wet and wild big brush. Again, all of this is in my um, hair care routine video that I put in that card. So you guys can totally go check that out if you want. But we're going to go ahead and start. When I do those tighter curls, I do... Um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I do like to um, part my hair. But because I don't want that hairstyle today, I'm not going to. But this is what I do for it, and please bear with me, I am doing this in my viewfinder of my camera. But I will go down, and then I would twist, go down more, and then twist, and I would leave like, I don't know, what is that? I can't really see it. An inch or so out. Um, hold it. I have really thick, dark, heavy hair, so I need to hold it for a little bit longer than normal. And then I twist it out, and then I keep twisting it. And then I pull it down. And that's how I get that longer curl. And then with my hair, I pull it out immediately so that it falls fast. But that's how I do it. I'll do it again over here. So I pull it back, up, hold, down, up, hold. And then I go down, down, down one more, pull at the end. And then I pull out. And that's how 
I get those curls. But like I said, we're not doing those curls today. Hope you guys can get that. Hope you can just rewind that until you do get it. Um, but yeah, that's how I get those curls. But now I'll show you guys my favorite way to curl my hair, which is my favorite thing to do. Okay, now the curls I like to do in this hair is I like to start in the back and I will just grab whatever chunk, like I like to go in the center and I will just, oops, I will just go like this and then a quick release. I like going in the back first because I like getting these out of the way. Look at these. And I don't know how well this will work on like really thin hair. I feel like it'll look just the same. I feel like it looks good when there's like not a lot of hair curled. Um, and it adds so much more volume to my hair when I do it this way, like it's insane. Okay, so there's the back. Let's hope it looks good. Again, I'm in my viewfinder. Um, and I try and pull out all hair away from my bangs. And then I start with this like corner piece first. You guys can see that. Um, and then I'll do the front part last. But I like to do this and get it out of the way. Um, again, I'll pull up and then just like let it loose. And then up here, something I also like to do. Up. This one I like to bring it a little bit more down. Um, and then I just like pull it out like that. Um, I like when there's a little bit more curl. And then sometimes I will keep curling higher up at the root or I'll go down and curl more down here. Um, I do it like all, I, I'll just alternate and just make, make a freaking mess of my hair. That's like all I've been doing. And then we'll do one more up here. And then once I get like midway to my head like this, I like to do one coming forward, quick release. And then I'll get like one more section back here, going towards the back. And then I like this like corner piece that's like right on the tip of my head before it goes to the back of my head. Um, I grab that and I will bring it forward, but I go down more on that back end. And then I just quick release, brush it out. And that, that's how it looks. This is what you guys are always seeing in all my current pictures. It's just like a mess. And if I do see more parts that are a little like weird and straight, I will just go in. I don't care about the size of the piece or anything. And I just wing it. I just grab some pieces and I curl it and I pull it out. But like I said, some pieces just like look better when it's just like messy like this. Like I just feel like it looks good and look at the volume. Like I feel like it gives me so much more volume. So there's that, and then I'll just do that on the other side of my head. Also, sometimes I find it easier if I start at the back and bring it to the front, but sometimes, especially with this way, I find it easier if I start at the front and go to the back after I do those back pieces. Also, I am so obsessed with having bangs, you guys. My bangs make me so happy. Again, my front pieces, I like to kind of go down a little bit more. And again, like I just kind of like to grab different sizes of hair. Like some strands I'll do like really thin ones. Um, some I'll do like really big ones. That one was a weird one. I don't know what I just did with my wrists there. I really hope this is helpful to you guys. I feel bad, but doing my hair has just become like such a random thing that I do. Oh, and then again on this back piece, I like to bring these forward. Quick release. And then if I feel like some of them are falling too much in the same places, I will go through and grab like really tiny ones like this and like curl them more up here. And then it will like pull it up more, which I really like. Um, and 
that's it like i have the thickest hair ever and i just curled my hair in like 10 minutes so there's that again like a ton of the underneath is still not curled but that's my hair um and then once i'm done with the curls and i'm happy with how they all look i will take my bangs and i pull them together and i just go like here at the root and then i just like pull them down so that they swoop and then they kind of swoop to the side like that and then if i don't like that i go from the side and then i go and swoop them this way yeah like that looks a lot better some days they do what they want and i just kind of have to adjust to them instead of bringing them to adjust to me but yep that's my routine now I'll go in with the Mika Texture Spray and I just kind of spray it everywhere and then I go at the bottom and scrunch it up. I do need to invest in some hairspray because these curls only last until I sleep on them and then the second I sleep on them, it's game over. And then also sometimes if my bangs are bugging me, if they're looking like too flat and not curling well, I will put some texture spray in them and kind of just like mess with them like this. Pull them out, but today I kind of like them. It's probably because I didn't wash my hair for like five days. But that's my hair. And yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys try these curls, please let me know. I hope it works out for you guys. And I hope you guys love them as much as I do. But yeah, love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.